Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson, and getting ready for what should be potentially thrilling action here. It's Paris Saint-Germain versus Barcelona. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Lionel Messi. Hakimi. And Messi! And Messi with the goal. It's always strange when he doesn't get on target. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power. The keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Well, Barcelona get things going again. A wake-up call for them, perhaps. And he's through here. Alas, he's made his move too early. Offside. And that'll be a Barcelona ball. Kimmich, Frankie de Jong, committed challenge, an inability to keep hold of the ball there, and Pele snuffing out the danger. Serge Gnabry, Frankie de Jong, Bruno Fernandes, Fernandes intercepting it intelligently. Well, a joy to watch. An alert intervention. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And the penalty has been given here. It's there for him, and a goal! He was composure personified, and he's done his job from the spot. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So, 2-0 now. Serge Gnabry. Well, he's certainly not alone. Smuggled away. And could pull one back here. And it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it. And suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area. And they don't reorganise themselves. And that's why the ball's in the back of their net. Well, they get the ball moving, and Barca believing again. The first half here comes to an end. And the ball is moving again. The onus is on Barcelona to turn this game on its head. Teo Hernandez. Really getting stuck in. And they know they need to stop him. Oh, Chiesa! Well, getting in the way. Superb save. De Jong. Carrasco. Good use of advantage in favour of PSG. Serge Gnabry. Gnabry. Well, the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. 
Yaya Toure. Federico Chiesa. Toure. Pele. Well, desperately close to going in that time. And they're making a change. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. No shortage of goals in this match. 3 1. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. PSG have been readying two substitutes, and now both will come on. Now, what can Lionel Messi do from here? Well read to ease the pressure. Well, as we approach full time, Paris Saint Germain absolutely coasting to victory, Stuart. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously, being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball, and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. So, two minutes to be added on at the end. Messi. De Jong. And return to Messi. Surely! And in it goes! They're getting closer! They're not finished yet! Well, let's take another look now, and it's a superb cross by Messi, and what a header it... And that will be all. Three points for PSG. That's the good news for their fans around the world. Your assessment? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team, and they deserve their victory.